Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pixelmon on the Pocket Pixel server. So, since our last trip, I have done quite a few things. I have raised our Riolu's happiness to 220, so he is ready to evolve any second I want him to. Although, we, we need it to be daytime. So, there's that. Uh, Flizzard, our Charmander, is up to level 14. I caught a Ghastly, named her Banshee. Caught a trap pinch, named him Dragonfly. Uh, I caught a Pidgey level two, and I named him uh, named named her Dove. And then I was on the server for the Shiny All, which was awesome. Shiny All is an event where if you voted for this server on a few uh, server hub websites or uh, server listing websites. Uh, and you're online at the time that the command counts down. I think it's uh, five thousand, six thousand votes. I think is every is how long it resets to. Uh, anyway, uh, so I was online when I got that, and I got a shiny Weedle. So let's see if I can show him off here. Here he is. So you can tell it's a shiny because it gives off little sparkle effects every so often. Boom, boom, boom. And then you can also go into your summary page. Oh, come on. And I believe it shows... I don't know where it shows. Also learned a few new features. Uh, you can go up to your Pokemon and there's a little L right here. What this does is it allows you to lock your level. So if you're thinking of challenging a gym, and you know the gyms uh, cap out at 25 or something, uh, I think is for the rock gym. So you can't challenge the rock leader with a Pokemon over level 25. So you can get to 25, lock it, and then uh, get into the battle. Let me see what the... Uh, I think the grass gym is over here. I can show you guys an example of a level cap for a gym. So uh, apparently Beef has been having a bit of trouble with his uh, keeping his place private. So now it's a server rule that you can't divulge his coordinates. I don't know where he lives, so yeah. Uh, and I don't really have any real incentive to go looking for him. Uh, so level cap is 35 here. So if I got a Pokemon up to level 35, I could lock the level and we would be all good. Alright, so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to show you a few crafting recipes. I wanted to show you uh, a few of the system settings. So, uh, you can see I've got a half a stack of obsidian on me. Now, the way I got that obsidian wasn't through mining, because mining obsidian on a server with this much block lag is just ridiculous. So I came over to the store, this store over here. And you can see they sell a whole bunch of stuff. If you go upstairs, they have slots for buying and selling blocks. So you can sell obsidian, you can sell glowstone stuff, cobblestone. You can sell cobblestone, which is fantastic. Where is cobblestone? I believe that's over here. Maybe not. Where was cobblestone? Was I just looking at it? Yeah, I am. So you can sell a stack of cobblestone for 10 bucks. Uh, this is all in-game currency, so even though it uses the dollar sign, it will not... It's not actual currency, so keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, so I bought some obsidian. Uh, I'm hoping to make an enchanting table sooner rather than later, but we'll see about that. Uh, so, Today I want to evolve Riolu, but we have to wait for daylight. Uh, I just signed on, and it is currently nighttime. But there is also something else I want to do, and I believe it's available in this version of Pixelmon. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll test it out. What I want to get is I want to catch a fan pee. Oh, that is a tiny, tiny Snorlax. So, I'm going to look around town. And hopefully we can find a fan pee. Uh, meanwhile, while we're doing that, I guess I can show off a few of the other features. 
So the money I'm talking, the money I mentioned, the in-game currency, you earn that by voting for the server as well. Uh, you can you can earn it by selling stuff, but I think the easiest way is to just vote for the server. Which you know I've been really enjoying this server, so I really don't mind voting for it. Uh, it lets me participate in shiny all. It gets me uh, some in-game currency, and so on and so forth. Per vote, you get 500 in currency. Uh, there's a chance that you'll randomly proc a higher, uh, a higher value, which is 5,000, which is the price of a master ball, which is awesome. So if you end up doing that, uh, you also get, I think it's six or six or eight rare candies. Six or eight rare candies. Uh, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I don't know what the odds of hitting that are. I've hit it once, so I've hit it once or twice. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. So I'm pretty sure Fampy spawn any time of day, so I should be able to find one around here somewhere. Uh, so once you've voted, uh, you can keep track of the balance you have by hitting slash val and there you go uh, now my current balance is seven thousand nine hundred fifty five dollars uh, I cannot find a fan fee here go check over here behind town behind and around town I would have thought there would be a lot more Pokemon around town because so many people are in town. Uh, so I also got a few... I I'm, was looking for a desert for a while because I wanted to catch a trap inch. Uh, and I was kind enough to... I was lucky enough to have a guy who uh, helped me out. He told me uh, he was near a desert. And I used the teleport to other player command, and easy enough, I teleported right to him. It was 30,000 blocks away from where I set up camp. <laughs> uh, which, by the way, I have moved camps. Uh, I felt a bit bad being like right next to that other player. Uh, although I technically was there first. Uh, but I went exploring. Uh, I found a island that is all by itself in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I have now claimed that island. I've started an apricorn farm. Uh, I've started a mine. I have claimed the majority of the island. Not all of it quite yet, but I'm, I'm getting there. Uh, and what else? Uh, anyway, so I went to that desert. I met the guy. We hung out for probably about a half hour. And then uh, just chatting, having fun. He showed me a few features, like you can sit on stairs. Uh, any place around here have stairs? I don't think so. Here's the electric gym, cap 65. Okay, here we go. Some stairs. All you have to do is right click on the stairs, and now you're sitting. And chat will say you are now sitting. So then you can just hit shift, left shift, and you'll get out of it. And it says you are no longer sitting. Warp to arena. Oh, interesting. Okay. I haven't been to many of the uh, gyms. I haven't been to any of the gyms yet. Uh, I'm in no real hurry to level up my guys. Um, I kind of grinded up uh, Dragonfly just a bit because I was trying to get resources and some of the resources you can get, uh, you get from Pokemon. Uh, I would like to find a Farfetch so I could get some sugarcane without having to buy it or find it, but oh well. Let's see, I would very much like to find a Fampy sooner rather than later. Uh, now the reason I'm looking for a Fampy is Fampy has an ability called Pickup. And what Pickup does is every time you finish a battle, uh, 
even if your guy was not participating in said battle, uh, even if uh, Fanpy, I mean, was not participating in said battle, you have a 10% chance of picking up a random item. So I would very much like to have that just in the pocket. So while I'm level grinding or raising up a Pokemon, all I have to do is have Fampy in my party and I'll start collecting stuff like rare candies, Pokeballs, uh, berries, what else? There's a ton of stuff actually. Is this a hidden base? I think it is. No, it's not. That was just a bunch of random trees. Here's a Sableye. Sableyes are really good for, actually, you know what? Let's fight this guy. Uh, we'll start off with our Dragonfly. Because he's our highest level. Okay, bit of lag. That's not unusual. I was on here once when there were only 24 players online. Oh, I forgot to turn off the, the animation. So Sableye is a unique Pokemon. He's Ghost Dark, so he has absolutely no weaknesses. No super effective abilities. I'm also running into this bug where it says I've hit an attack, but nothing happens. Uh, let's see here. I think I'll keep hitting him with Sand Tomb. Hopefully I can manage to kill this guy. Astonish. Okay, let's switch out to... Dove. Astonish has no effect. Gust. Foresight, okay. Gust. Okay, see, it doesn't say that I missed or anything, but the attack doesn't do anything. And we didn't pick up any items. But Sableye has the chance to drop emeralds, um, diamonds, all kinds of stuff. Uh, in the... Oh my god, there's just a Riolu sitting there on the... Oh, that must have been somebody's Riolu. Oh. Must have been what's-his-face right there. Um, let's see. So, Sableye is a good thing to try to knock out whenever you can. Uh, I think he's also in high demand as a Pokemon to use. Probably because there's no super effective attacks against him. If I were to, if I were to guess, I would certainly find that a valuable trait. Because uh, the gym leaders tend to prepare for their weaknesses, so if you're going into the rock gym with a water type, chances are he's going to have a rock type capable of an electric attack. So keep yourself open. Keep your keep your mind ready. If you go in with grass type, I think his giggle. It, I think one of the rock. Rock Leaders has a Gigalith. There's a oh. wild level 49 Charizard. Uh, I think one of the Rock Gym Leaders has a Gigalith that's capable of Flamethrower or something. I don't know. I don't think they cheat what the, their Pokemon can know, so I don't... But I'm pretty sure Gigalith can learn Flamethrower by TM. I could be wrong. I don't know. He one-shot a Grass-type. <laughs> Couldn't tell you how, off the top of my head. How are we doing for time? We are, like, doing terrible for time here, so... Oh, here we go. A level 17 Fampy. It's gonna have to do. Alright, Dove. There we go. Uh, quick attack. Defense curl, huh? 
And we might be better off with Gus then. I think we still outspeed it, yeah. Tackle, okay. Gust again. And nothing apparently, okay. Okay. If I hit quick attack. Nothing apparently, okay. Recoil damage, okay, I want to be very careful about that. Quick attack, take down, recoil damage, okay. So I think we are now good to catch ourselves a fan pee. Great ball. Okay, now with the lag, this could take a while, so... I'll probably cut and bring you in if it's uh, when it's successful. All right, the Pokeball has animated that we have caught him. Now we're just waiting for the chat prompt and for ourselves to exit this uh, UI. So should be ready any second now. There we go, we captured Fanpy. Party was full, so he was sent to the PC. Okay. Oh, and of course, now there are tons of Fanpies everywhere. Maybe he only spawns during the day. Maybe I was wrong. Okay, well, now I'm gonna go bring us back over to where I am. So I'm gonna use the slash home command. So what you can do in the server is you can hit slash set home, like, like, so, and using that command, we'll set it so that every time you hit slash home, you teleport to the location. Now, there are rules forbidding you from doing this inside of gym arenas, so it is a bannable offense, so keep that in mind. All right, so here we are on my little deserted island. Got my apricorn farm. Oh, come on, there we go. And I currently have a plot that is 36 by 36. It's pretty big. It's almost the entirety of the island. Boom. Uh, and I'm slowly growing that claim. 28 blocks. Uh, but anyway, for now, what I want to do is I want to take out our new acquire, newly acquired Fanpy. I'm going to switch it out for Dove. And that'll be that. And I'm also going to show you guys how to make an anvil for this mod. So all I have to do is take eight like that. It's like a sideways chest plate. There you go. Grab yourself an anvil. Put it down. These are all floating in the middle of the air because, um, I guess I can't, can I not float you in the middle of the air? Maybe not. There you go. I'll float you up there. So, this guy is pretty handy. Uh, it lets us make ourselves some stuff. So, these are Epricorns. We have been collecting them for quite a while, and they now grow in my backyard. And uh, what you have to do with these is you have to cook them, and then they become cooked apricorns. Simple as that. You just put them in a furnace with charcoal. And easy peasy, just like that, you have cooked apricorns. Did I have any? No, I did not have any in there. Then what you can do with these is you can take them, go over to your crafting bench, and I believe for a quick ball it is like this. Yes. And you can make yourselves quick ball discs. Now, what you do with these is you go like so. I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five iron. And we're going to make ourselves a hammer. Boom. Then I'm also going to need one, two, three of you. And we're going to go like so. I like to use iron because it's a renewable resource in this game. All you have to do is fight steel-type Pokemon, and you will get yourself an iron ingot. I think also some fighting-type Pokemon drop them. 
So what you do is you right click on the anvil with the ball disc, then you hold left click or hold left click with the with the hammer, and it does its job. And for some reason, I seem to have glitched. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, that was strange. Blame the lag. Okay, so now we have three quick ball lids. Now, what I'm also going to have to do is I'm going to have to cook eight pieces of stone. Well, not necessarily eight, but I just like to not waste charcoal. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put my obsidian away. And let's see, I'm going to take my iron disc. And we're going to use our hammer on them as well. There we are. And what we are doing is we are turning these into Pokeball bases. So all we have to do is this a few times. Okay, we did not get experience for that, so I don't think it worked. Okay. I think the experience sound is pretty much the definitive answer to you have done this correctly. Okay, at that time nothing happened. There we go. And for some reason I'm going to get six out of this. No, sometimes the lag can work in your favor. Four. I should have five. Okay, I guess now we have five. Okay. Easy enough. Definitely have five. Okay. So we're not going to need two of these. So I'm going to put them over here. Two, just like that. Bases are always made out of uh, iron. You can also use aluminum. Aluminum will get you three bases as opposed to five. Uh, okay. Lag just stole us a piece of cobblestone. That's fine. Or uh, a, an eighth of a piece of charcoal, I mean. So one, two, three. And then we take our top, we take our base, and we take our button. And we have ourselves three quick balls, just like that. Quick balls are nice. Uh, the if the sooner to the first. Hmm. No, that's not how it works. If a quick ball is thrown on the first turn, I think its catch rate modifier is times times eight times six. I'm terrible with eights and sixes apparently. Um, but yeah. So that's awesome. Oh man, it was just daytime. Uh, that's a pain. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait on the server a little bit longer. I'll wait till the next daylight cycle, and then we'll evolve our Riolu. Alright, so another thing I wanted to do before we ended this episode is I wanted to evolve Olive into at least a Kakuna. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into level 7. And let's see, now the Weedle is evolving. Our shiny Weedle is about to become a shiny Kakuna. Whoosh. Boom. Evolved into a Weedle. Now you understand why I call it Olive, because it's green. And actually, you know what, I'm not going to use these rare candies for very much. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a shiny bee drill, shall we? So I'm going to need, what, three more rare candies? One, two, three. And last one. There we go. I prefer to use rare candies for like leveling up uh, 
At least that's what I'm going to use to level up Riolu because it's much more controlled. I can guarantee that he's going to level up during the day. Or, uh, yeah, I can guarantee that he's going to level up during the day. So that's why. All right, we have ourselves a shiny bee drill. A green bee drill. Greenish. Honestly, it doesn't look too different from a normal bee drill. The eyes are blue though. I think that's a significant difference. I think normally they're what red? Yeah. So there we go. We have a shiny bee drill. Thanks to the shiny all of the server. So I'm going to put the bee drill. I'm going to put all of away. Uh so the guy I met in the desert gave me a mag mortar. It has flame body, so once I get into uh, breeding, that's going to be super helpful. And he gave me a Pikachu. A level 42 Pikachu. Uh, I caught a Bulbasaur off camera. I caught a Corefish off camera. I caught a Remoraid off camera. Uh, I couldn't pass up this Remoraid. It was level 7. It was, like, right here. Okay, apparently there are Tentacruel nearby. Oh, Striker's not out of this Pokeball anymore. Okay, there is one other feature I thought I might consider showing you guys. Uh, so. Alright, let's see here. This is the Wonder Trade feature. Now, I think to make Wonder Trade, all I have to do is type Wonder Trade. So Wonder Trade slot number to give Wonder Trade, give Pokemon to Wonder Trade. So if I go Wonder Trade one, confirm, this should Wonder Trade away my Oddish. And there you go. I got a female Hypno level 40. And now if I want to do that again, it's going to take 60 minutes for that to refresh. I'm not. I'm definitely not going to keep this Hypno. I'm probably going to retrade it away. Uh, I know that Oddish was probably a good candidate for the Rock Gym, but I've also got a Bulbasaur, so I think I'm going to go use Bulbasaur, Trap Inch, Remoraid, and Riolu. I think it's four people. So anyway, uh, I'm going to cut here, and uh, we'll evolve uh, Riolu in the morning. All right, I think we're good to go now. So uh, all I should have to do is give Riolu a rare candy, and he should evolve into a Lucario. Where is little guy? Hi, little guy. Level 10, and here we go. So to raise his happiness, all I had to do was keep him in the first slot of my party, and then uh, just leave him out of his Pokeball while I did, uh, like, my mining or just wandering around the island, upkeep, all that kind of stuff. And now we have a Lucario. Boom. Just like that. Level 10. Pretty awesome. Alright, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. Uh, I guess between episodes now, I'm going to try to, uh, level my guys up just a little bit. It would be nice to get, uh, actually, we'll save that for the next episode. Next episode, I have a goal to evolve my Charmander. And then after that, let's see here. Yeah, no, that'll be that'll be the goal for now. Evolve Charmander. Uh, I'm not going to do that off camera, so I guess I don't really have much off camera work to do. Actually, I'll probably just make a whole bunch of Pokeballs. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll just make a whole bunch of Pokeballs. Uh, I'm going to be focusing on Dusk Balls, Quick Balls, uh, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Uh, unfortunately, those all use the same palette of uh, Apricorns, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, but we'll manage. Uh, so, again, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.